<laughs> so these are going to really improve the quality and the ease of gameplay. And uh, the first one that I think a lot of players would be interested to know about would be the unlimited sprint and duration mods that are out there. Uh, Mass Effect has a lot of running in between objective points, mm -hmm. not just Mass Effect 1, but 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. And this can really slow down some gameplay. Some people like the slow you know, change of pace in between missions. Some people don't. For those of you who wish that Shepard didn't get super wind Yes. after a five second jog oh my god he is one of the most badass freaking soldiers in the galaxy why can he not jog the length of i mean not even a football field like a basketball court if you're looking for kind of a one-stop shop of how to organize your mods uh definitely download the me3 tweaks mod manager and again so people people know i'm putting this up on the screen it's called unlimited sprint and boost duration so if you're looking for that by name unlimited sprint and boost duration if you search just search unlimited sprint it'll show up and another one of the top ones on nexus mods uh and rightfully so are the community patches for mass effect one and three in legendary edition i'm not quite sure why i haven't found a mass effect 2 community patch yet they might still be working on it a lot of these modders are again volunteers they're not getting paid for this stuff uh, but these community patches are just general bug fixes you know it's it's kind of a necessity it doesn't change anything about the game doesn't add any content doesn't take away any content it just fixes bugs it's quite similar to the unofficial fallout and skyrim patches as i'm sure you're familiar with yeah so just an example here under the normandy section it says things like uh you know bugs fixed fix normandy music not playing after mission debriefs caden will not refer to the player as a biotic if they are not you know things like that that can kind of if you're if you're a stickler for the details this is stuff that makes it not break your brain when caden says you're a biotic and you go wait i'm not a biotic that doesn't make any sense this kind of stuff is stuff that should have probably been patched out had the developer taken the time, but it wasn't. So these are these are the kinds of people who, like you, this stuff bugs and they they took the time to go back in and fix this stuff. It bugs them. It bugs. I see what you did there. So there's one for one and one for three and not one for two. But hey, that's what we got so yeah. far. Maybe by the time you download these, there'll be one for two. Yeah, agreed. And speaking of Mass Effect 2, there is a great mod that people can download called the Mass Effect 2 One Probe for All Resources. This one's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, if you've played Mass Effect 2 before, then you know how tedious the grinding can be for gathering all the resources you will need. So going from planet to planet, then stripping planets bare of all material resources, dooming entire populations because their <laughs> worlds don't have anything anymore, just so that you can put some shiny new armor on the Normandy. Anyway, if you're not really missing that and you just want to gather all the resources you need for the upgrades, then this mod aims to fix that you know it includes all of the resources you would need for every upgrade in one planet location so you just go to that planet you fire the one probe you get all the resources yeah just it strips I, it strip mines um you know entire planets of everything they have so you know you become the reaper you become the ultimate capitalist there you, you have acquired all of the capital <laughs> congratulations it. <laughs> you win the game that's what happens in real life too <laughs> congratulations you just win the game you become no, the monster. Okay, so this fine this one's kind of cheating you know this one is kind of a cheat although there's an argument to be made that it's a quality of life improvement um even though it, it's it's like definitely a cheat um but i get i don't <laughs> okay you're not hedging I, your bets anymore you're just like no right this is a, this is a i i I get it. Like, I get it why someone would want to download this one because it's like, really? Like, you're going to make me go to all these planets and just scan and scan and scan and mine and mine and mine. And it's just, come on. My favorite one, however, is one called the Black Market License Mod. This one's only for Mass Effect 1 in Legendary Edition. It's one of my personal favorites. Actually, it is my personal favorite of the Mass Effect mods. So, Mass Effect 1 had certain weapons and armor in the game that players literally couldn't get no matter what they did unless they were acquired through console commands. That's the only way that you could get these items. It's like they were put into the game but never actually put into the game. 
my understanding is that they were hidden behind loot tables. They were made to be incredibly hard to get, but they just something about some loot table just didn't allow them to spawn or something like that. You'd think they would have fixed that with legendary edition. Mm -hmm. Um, but regardless, they never made it into the game, not in, not in stores, not in, you know, like containers or any, anywhere on the ground. You couldn't get them unless you spawned them through console commands. And so these aren't like tester items, you know, this isn't like God tier level test sword, you know, to just smite something in one hit. Um, and it's not cheap gear either. It's just really high level good stuff. So this mod makes those weapons and armor as accessible as black market items, uh, which can be purchased through the requisitions officer on the Normandy. Uh, but first you have to buy the license as you do with every other manufacturer license uh, in Mass Effect 1. So it, in it includes equipment from Batarian State Arms, Cerberus Skunk Works, uh, Han, Han Kadar Shadow Works, and Jorm Jormungand Technology. Those are all manufacturers that really probably don't sound familiar to any Mass Effect 1 player because they weren't in the game to start with. Um, so uh, there's also previously hidden weapon, ammo, and armor mods that you don't buy, but they will be found in the world in crates, containers, boxes, you name it, and on dead bad guys. Hmm. So adds a lot of stuff that I think should have been in the game. It was meant to be in the game, um, but just didn't make it in for some reason. Huh. Yeah. It's we that's weird. It's like it's almost like they realized it didn't get it in and then they just didn't fix it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe there were some bugs with it. I'm not sure. I haven't played with that one too much yet. If I encounter any bugs, I'll let everyone know. Uh, but that one brings us to our next mod, which is called the Expanded Galaxy mod. This one's super cool. It is somewhat of a total overhaul of Mass Effect 3. So this, again, this one's specifically for Mass Effect 3 and Legendary Edition. This mod adds customization options for the Normandy. Uh, it adds new weapons uh, that were not in the game previously and adds new casual outfits for your squad mates. And you can sprint through the Normandy scanner between the war room and the bridge, which I know is probably a big thing for you, Tom, <laughs> wanting to speed up gameplay, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> and in the original Mass Effect 3, by the way, that was used as a loading screen. That's what that was. It was a loading screen. Yeah. Um, but in Legendary Edition, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't need to be a loading screen. So you can just sprint through it this time instead of having to walk, stop, wait for it to scan you keep going yeah oh man look at these guns so, i'm looking at the, the images yeah that it's so cool so the uh the expanded ga galaxy mod for mass effect 3 it adds some serious quality of life uh features some of them are new weapons uh the collector smg the geth spitfire and the gladius m57 are all new weapons that it adds uh, all of these can be found during gameplay which is pretty cool uh, there's also some core gameplay quality of life fixes for example i'll just read a couple off uh, when launching a mission from the normandy the armor screen automatically allows selection along with the weapons and power as usual uh, during a combat mission you can now press p or click the left trigger to port your arms lower your weapon uh, and it's not the same as holstering it but has a similar impact without having to save and reload this expanded galaxy mod also changes some things in, in terms of timing so you can now select timings of dlc missions like eden prime omega citadel leviathan and you can select the timings of the six in seven missions uh and wind trainer will announce them so i always kind of hated how those missions came right when i was doing something else and mm -hmm. i felt like if i didn't do them right away they were going to expire and then i couldn't do them and since i'm a completionist that that really bugs me like not being able you know leaving a stone unturned so this mod changes the way that you can really time things we would be remiss without mentioning the normandy immersive overhaul that it includes in the mod uh, so basically there's five main different additions uh, or, or uh, 
features of the Normandy immersive overhaul. It has a new and evolving crew. You can set your XO Marine officer. You can decide the number of Marines, medics, engineers, and other crew members on the Normandy. Uh, there's a customizable Normandy. Now you can add a firing range. You can add vehicles, other equipment, all controlled from the ship's new manifest. Uh, there's cabin romances. You can get an interactive picture from Shepard's love interest and invite them up to spend time with Shepard in the cabin whenever, <laughs> like it doesn't have to be at a certain point in the game. Well, weird, um, you know, like uh, maybe like real relationships. Yeah. Hey, hey, huh. yeah, baby. I know that we're in the middle of a mission, but why don't we just go up to my my quarters real quick? Uh, <laughs> Sovereign asks, can you add a Tim Horton? I can. Well, I wish we could add a Timmy Hose. That would be nice. Um, <laughs> but no, no Tim Hortons aboard the Normandy. No. Uh, although Shepard acts like someone who eats at Tim Hortons very often uh, <laughs> with his lack of running ability, uh, I don't think that there's one there. there. There's also some Mass Effect 2 weapon imports, so you can bring on some weapons from Mass Effect 2 and play them uh, in Mass Effect 3 and you can actually reach level 10 on the first playthrough if you imported. Uh, and there's also some immersive improvements, you know, restored conversations between Ashley and Liara, unblocked windows, new cabin models, and there's just a lot of, a lot more stuff. I mean, like, I'm looking at, a, at this page, and it's like so expansive right like so the expanded galaxy mod is aptly named there's uh -huh. so much stuff here there's one more you've got kind of this honorable mention here yes and yeah i love i love my my fashion accessories in games so what yes. are we talking about here? so this this one's the expanded galaxy mod armors for legendary edition two and three uh i'm yes. very much with you on this tom i love fashion all the effect. different armors and uh, yes fashion effect uh Whew. and all the different things that you can bring onto the table with this mod you can actually wear armors from mass effect andromeda and the mass effect 3 multiplayer in the in the campaign now previously there were a lot of armors and outfits that were not available in the single player at all but now uh thanks to the wonderful work of some very dedicated modders you can uh there's tons and tons and tons of new outfits not just armors but casual outfits too uh and that doesn't just go for shepherd that also goes for the squad mates they have like over 30 new casual outfits for the squad mates to wear in non-combat combat uh, environments. The expanded Shepherd Armory is also along the same lines. It's an honorable mention. It's a required mod for the EGM armors for uh, Legendary Edition 2 and 3. The expanded Ar Shepherd Armory, though, it allows the same exact thing, wearing Mass Effect 2 armors and 3, except it goes in reverse. So if you ever wanted to use Mass Effect 3 armors and Mass Effect 2, you can do that too. Uh, so it, there's some uniformity there, which actually would have been nice uh if they implemented that from the very get-go you know kind of a unified armory system yeah you, you would think they would carry over some of this stuff and just add to it yeah it yeah oh well i mean yeah i i guess i get it um i would love one day if i saw that there that the modders had included and in, you know all-encompassing expanded galaxy mod armors for the entire trilogy so you could wear all of the mass effect 3 stuff in mass effect 1 that'd be cool yeah that would be really cool so man i'm gonna have to dig into some of the stuff on my new playthrough i think i might i think i might go to that one first and just like have all the cool armors because that's part of, it's part of just the looting aspect of this stuff you know like you always want to get like the cool new gun and half the time I don't care about the stats as long as it just freaking looks cool. You know, like, yeah. does it look badass? Does it then, look yes, badass? It. Yeah. Do I pull the gun out and feel cool? Cause I'm, you know, do I have a cool outfit? Do I have a cool gun? Do I walk into the room and feel like I'm a total badass shepherd when I'm going to go shake down, you know, the bad guy on the other side of the room? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. That or makes maybe, me maybe you're, Maybe you're role playing a super weenie hut junior shepherd. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's the other thing. It's like, do I want to look really dumb? Is there really dumb looking armor? Uh, maybe I want that. <laughs> you know, give me the options. Give me all the options to role play this however I want because of just for whatever reason, you know, that's what I'm that's what I'm down for. So yeah, awesome stuff. Um, very, very cool. Go check all of these out. I will put links for these in the show notes so you're able to check out all of these directly. Um, you can also just search the names that we've brought up during the during the show on Nexus Mods. Um, so the, the website for that is nexusmods.com. 
and you'll probably want to log in and create a, an account so you can keep track of all the mods you download. And as with any mods you're loading into a system, follow the instructions the way they've set them up. Make sure that you are following them to the letter and make sure that you back up your files before you do so. So it's always a good idea to, again, follow the instructions, be careful with stuff and back up, especially your save files so you don't mess anything up. 